Brian, this in fact isn't your first project that you've done sort of about the situation in, in Somalia. You also had a short film that you made was nominated for an Academy Award. What, what was it that sort of first drew you there? Um, uh, well, this is the actually third third film. Um, uh, it I did the first work I did was for UNHCR, um, and it was in uh, Kakuma, in southern Sudan, so northern Kenya, and in the camp of Kakuma in southern Sudan. And uh, the UN had come to me because I come out of the world of marketing, and uh, they said that they were trying to figure out how to get help out refugees because they couldn't, they were stuck in these camps for average time, that camp for 17 years, and uh, they couldn't get out, and the only way they could do is either go back to their existing country or another country would take them on, and so they said, we need to show value to these refugees, so we did a sh this short doc, and uh, that, um, and actually, it was double booked. They didn't tell us. They hired me and uh, my team, along with uh, BBC, and was a ball was, uh, basketball player, Luel Dang, back to Southern Sudan. He was the lost boy of Sudan. He was a famous basketball player. And uh, so we got very close with the, the crew, the BBC crew, and uh, mainly to save our lives because it was pretty dangerous <laughs> once we got out of uh, Kenya. And um, the two things I saw was one, when we were in the camp, that the the Somalis were coming in by the thousands, um, and they had been, you know, many of the women especially at the Al-Shabaab, sh terrible shootings, and there's famine going on uh, that was horrible. Um, and, but they were so inviting, they take me into their homes, and I conduct these interviews. And then meanwhile, we talked to BBC, and they're like, look, we can't go into southern, we can't go into some Somalia. Uh, we're not allowed to go in there, so we don't really know what's going on. There's piracy at that point was still at the height. It was really, it was like, wow, I didn't realize you guys couldn't get in there. Um, so then we finished the doc, put all this work into it, and uh, no one saw it, like 10 people. It was terrible. It was an online doc. And so then I went from there, and I said, okay, I have, to, I have to tell this story. So I took it and went to a narrative, which was Assad, and basically did the same thing over again, but made them actors. You know, these kids, you know, we, we trained them, we found the kids out, and in this case, there was in, in South Africa, we found Somali refugees, trained them, told the same basic story, but instead of a doc style, we, we told the story of how they live, and it, it connected. And, uh, and from there, when we were there, the book, the only book that was available for reference to shoot this movie was Jay's book, and so that's how I kind of got connected to that, and uh, hence here today.